All righty, welcome back to episode two of the Unstuck series. If you haven't listened to part one yet, go to lifementoringschool.com slash start. You can listen to the first episode first and then come back to this one or go listen to that one when you finish this one. But episode two is all about the epiphanies that changed my life. Three epiphanies that helped me 10x my life, experience my life so much differently. And I'm gonna go through the epiphanies. Do you like my light bulbs? If you're watching it on video, you can see my light bulb drawings. <laughs> if you're listening on the podcast, you probably need to go over to lifementoringschool.com slash start so you can see these light bulbs. But the first epiphany that completely changed my life. We talked about this a little bit in episode one when I showed you the creation cycle. I'm gonna show it to you again today. But one of the things we learned there is that thoughts are optional, even if they're true. Now, I started to investigate this thought that I had, I'm not good with money. And I had a lot of evidence for that thought, y'all. I had a lot of evidence. I could look at my life and go, yeah, I didn't know how to do that there. And I spent too much here and I'm not good at saving. And I had all of these thoughts that boiled down to the thought, I'm not good with money. When you think the thought, just imagine for yourself, if you're thinking the thought, I'm not good with money, how do you feel? You feel guilt and shame. And this creation cycle where thoughts create feelings, feelings drive all of our actions or our inactions, and it gives us the result of our lives. So if I'm thinking I'm not good with money and I'm feeling guilt and shame, what action do I take from those feelings? Anybody want to take a guess? Well, I will tell you what happens is I spend, I overspend because I want to make myself feel better from this guilt and shame. And a quick way to do that is to overeat, to overspend or whatever. And what we do is we find ourselves in these, like, dare I say, addicted to these patterns of thinking and feeling and we do that for long enough and it just feels like it's who we are. It feels like it's not optional. It feels like it's just true. But I promise you, trust me when I say, epiphany number one is thoughts are optional even if they're quote unquote true because what I'm gonna keep creating with the thought, I'm not good with money, I'm gonna produce the result that I'm not good with money. And you see how I do that by the thought, feeling, action loop, right? So I decided to think a different thought. I decided to believe, oh, this is optional. I don't have to keep thinking this. I don't have to keep myself in this loop where I feel this guilt and shame all the time. And the result of that is then I spend money that I don't have, or I don't save the money that I want to. And you can put anything in this thought line. I've done this with everything in my life from my weight to my health, to money, to relationships, to goals in my business. You can do this with anything. You have so much default thinking running in the background that you think is true because you have a lot of evidence for it. And those thoughts are so powerful. That's epiphany number two. Those thoughts are so powerful. They become your life. Thoughts become things. I did a podcast a while back called Your Thoughts Are Showing. You know how they show? They show in the results of your life. We can tell what you've been thinking because your life shows it. As a man thinks in his heart, so is he, a quote from the scriptures. Take those thoughts captive. We're going to teach you how to do that in a second. But thoughts become your life. They're so powerful. So decide them on purpose. So what do you want to think besides I'm not good with money or I've always been overweight or I'm never going to be able to build my business or my relationship has always been a struggle. Like, what are you going to decide on purpose to think? And here's a clue. What result do you want to create in your life? So whatever result you want to create in your life, you have to think thoughts that produce that. That's why I love the scripture that says, you know, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things, you know, that scripture, that's really powerful because when we think on the things we want to think on, the things that give us the result in our lives that we want, eventually we produce that result. And it's not by magic and it's not by law of attraction, in my opinion, but it's because of this law of creation. It's because of this creation cycle that what we think about produces these emotions in us that fuel our lives, that fuel the action we take. 
And if we want to take a different action and get a result, we're gonna have to think a different thought. So I decided in my own life to think, I'm really learning how to be good with money. I'm learning so much about money. I'm really becoming an expert with money. And you know what happened over the next few months, over the next year, over the next few years? I proved it true. Those thoughts became things in my life. Those thoughts showed up in my bank account. Now I feel very confident with money. I know how to save money. I know how to not try to use irrational spending to feel better because I've taught myself just how to feel better without food, without money, without the things that, you know, we have decided, like, I know, you know, I feel like I need something to change on the inside. No, you need something to change on the inside. And then your experience of life will be so different. So the third epiphany is this emotions fuel your life and are themselves the result. So you get the result as in you get the result of like, oh, now that I decided to think I was good with money and I proved myself right over time, I also get the emotional benefit of that brings a result. I feel not guilt and shame. I feel motivated. I feel inspired. I feel proud of myself for how I'm learning to deal with money. And so emotions fuel the action that I want to take, but then they themselves become the result. So if you ask yourself, why do you want to save money? Why do you want a better relationship? Why do you want that big goal that you've set in your business to come true? The reason you want anything is because you want to feel something. And you think if you get that thing, then you'll feel that way. But the truth of the matter is you can just decide to feel that way. Why? Because we go back to the creation cycle. What is it that creates emotions in the first place? It's not actually the money. It's not actually the relationship. It's not actually the business goal. It's nothing outside of you. It's what you decide to think. Those thoughts are what produce the emotions. So you want to feel committed in your life, determined. You want to feel peaceful. You want to feel joy. Whatever it is you want to feel, you're in charge of that by how you think. And this, my friends, is so powerful. These three epiphanies together have completely changed my life because I'm not trying to manipulate something in my outside world, something in my outside circumstances in order for me to create internally, inwardly what I want. I know I'm in charge of that. I'm in charge of my inner life. I'm in charge of creating more joy, more peace, more inspiration, more determination, more love. That is all up to me by the thoughts that I choose to think. Now, does that mean that my brain never offers me thoughts that don't serve me? Of course not. It offers me thoughts that don't serve me all the time. I can notice those thoughts and go, yeah, I hear you. But we've decided to believe this. We've decided to think this. That is what it means to take your thoughts captive. And when you take your thoughts captive, you change your life. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Romans 12.1. You renew your mind by deciding on purpose what to think. Those thoughts are powerful. Those thoughts become things. Those thoughts are optional. You can think whatever you want about your life, about how you want to show up. You can do this literally with anything. I've done this with my past. It's so powerful because you think to yourself, no, what happened in my past is just true. Well, what happened in your past happened to you and you can decide now to think about it however you want. Use this process, use this creation cycle, use these epiphanies to literally change the trajectory of your life by first, in, by first changing your internal life, how you experience your life, because your thoughts and emotions are really how you experience your life. So when you change this, you will change your internal life and then you will watch the magic happen as it changes the results of your external life too. It's really incredible and amazing. So use these three principles Thoughts are optional, even if they feel true. Thoughts become your life because they're so powerful. They become things. And the emotions that those thoughts fuel 
become the actions you take, the results that you get, and become your internal experience, the way you experience your life. In the next video, we're going to talk about how to take these principles and seriously explode your life. I can't wait to see you then.